in this video i will share very important points about fresnel biprism experiment first of all let us know what is the aim of this experiment this experiment is used to determine wavelength of monochromatic light and this experiment is based on interference of light waves in this experiment we have a biprism that is specially made prism having one angle of about 179 degree and the other two angles are about half degree prism is held in this position as shown this diagram and source of light s is placed in front of it these are the parallel beams of light emitting out of by prism due to superimposition of these two beams of light interference pattern is formed and it can be viewed with the help of an ip placed at some suitable distance from the prism and these two beams of light coming out of by prism appear to come from source s1 and source s2 which are nothing but virtual images of source s so s1 and s2 act sources of monochromatic light distance between these two sources of light has been assumed to be equal to small d and distance of sources of light from the screen where interference pattern is viewed the distance is represented by letter capital d in order to find fringe width we move the eyepiece around the number of fringes that cross the field of view in the eyepiece through a particular distance and fringes cross the field of view in length l then width of each fringe can be calculated as which i equal to l upon n the next question is how to find distance between two sources of light that is small d this cannot be directly measured what we do place a small focal length convex lens in front of this prism in such a way that image of s1 and s2 is viewed through the ip in this way that distance between s1 dash and s2 dash is larger than distance between sources s1 and s that is a magnified image of sources of light is obtained due to placement of convex lens in front of the prism when this image s1 dash s2 dash is clearly visible then we can write that d dash over d is equal to y upon x this is nothing but a relation between size of the image to the size of object this is size of the image formed by the lens and this is size of the object placed before the lens size of image divided by size of object is equal to y upon x what is y y is distance of image from the lens and x is distance of the object from the lens this is a very popular relation that size of image over size of object is equal to v upon u in general we call it that is distance of image to distance of object then what we do we move the lens a little away from this prism towards the ip and then a stage comes then the values of y and x get interchanged in this position distance between s1 double dash and s2 double dash i call these images in with different name s1 double dash and s2 double dash that is size of the image becomes smaller let's call this distance as d double dash now as we did in previous case we can write mathematically that d double dash size of image divided by size of object is equal to distance of image from the lens divided by distance of object from in order to find the distance between actual distance between two sources of light s1 and s2 we multiply the previously obtained to this gives the value of d equal to square root d dash d double in this way by knowing the values of d dash and d double dash we can find the distance between two sources of light now we have calculated width of each fringe and distance between two sources of light and distance of screen or ip from the sources of light can be directly measured from the optical bench we use in the experiment by putting these values we can very easily calculate wavelength of monochromatic light Thank you.